Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Stern Designs. For Quick Tip Thursday, I'd like to share with you a few pattern adjustment tips. Now these tips are general tips, not, not pertaining to a certain pattern adjustment, but just things that will make it easier for you to work with a pattern when you're trying to fit it or make pattern adjustments to it. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is grading, using a graded nest to make pattern adjustments. When I teach my workshops, I always say, don't make adjustments through a graded nest. Now, if you're not sure what a graded nest is, it's the pattern that you get out of the envelope that's multi-sized. So it has all the sizes right next to each other. This is an adjusted pattern. Um, for my new ponte knit jeans actually with the great that I use the graded nest. You can see here all the sizes are all on this pattern where I didn't have to cut it away. Here's why I think it's not a great idea to use the graded nest when you're working on a pattern. The first thing is you have all of these lines to deal with and it can get confusing um, if you're trying to use your size as a guide for a hinge, let's say if you want to pivot when you're spreading a pattern, or if you need to take some off, you know, how much are you really taking off because you've got all these lines along the side that can be confusing. And the second reason is if you're playing with the flare of your leg, let's say if it's pants, um, it can be very deceiving whether or not you've actually achieved your goal. And what I mean by that is this is a straight leg pattern adjustment. I measured the knee and I measured the hem and I made sure the hem was equal to the knee. But if you look at it, it still looks like a boot cut pattern. And the reason why is it's got all these lines up at the top for the sizes that are making sort of an optical illusion. Plus to me, if you look at this, it just doesn't look straight on grain because of all the different sizes. I shifted the pattern over and so my sizing is within the pattern now and I actually added over here. So that looks funky. You know, and I think it's just very confusing to look at. All right, so here's an example of a pattern that I actually took the time to trace first before I started working on it. And you can see that um, everything looks nice and straight and everything is on grain. I actually drew my gra grain line even with the grid on the gridded paper so everything would look nice and straight. If you draw lines that are not lined up with the grid, that's another way that your pattern can look crooked. So that would be another tip. If you're working with dotted paper or gridded paper, use the grid to your advantage. And it's easy to adjust on the sides because I don't have any other sizes getting in my way. And if I make a change and label it, like for example over here, you know, I wanted to take in the center back crotch seam, sort of angle it like this. If I had had all the sizing in here, that would have looked very confusing. So it just makes it really clear on what I mean by my adjustments. They're labeled, plus I don't have any sizing lines in the way to make it less clear. All right, so that's my comparison of using a graded nest versus tracing a copy and then working with that. Um, one other tip I want to give you that I really just recently started doing, and I really love it. I'm going to pull out my graded nest again. I don't want you to, you know, don't pay attention to that. What I want to show you on here is I used a thick Sharpie marker to draw my slash lines. And the cool thing about that is notice that I have purple on either side of this slashed pattern adjustment. You take the time to slash right down the center of your guideline, your slash line. Then you have purple on either side of the slash. And that's really cool because as you spread, you can see how much you spread because you've got that purple guide on both sides. So that's how I'm going to be doing all my slash and spread from now on. I'm going to use a wider Sharpie and I'm going to slash down the center of it to sort of highlight the cut edges of my slash. And that'll make it a lot easier to control how much I'm actually spreading something. And then I can just look quick and say, oh yeah, that's, you know, three quarters of an inch or a half inch or whatever. A little earlier in this process of making these ponte knit jeans, I asked if anybody was interested in being a pattern tester for this pattern, and I did get some response. If you're interested, there's still time because I'm going to be sending out those patterns 
next week. I realized that, you know, I've been testing it myself and I, I test fitted it and I've been working with it and I was all excited to launch the pattern and then I realized, well, wait a minute, I asked for pattern testers so I really need to let the pattern testers make the pattern before I launch it. So I'm going to have everything ready to send to pattern testers next week. If you're interested in being a pattern tester, here are the requirements. All right, so if you have any questions or comments about, you know, working with a graded nest or working with dotted paper, please post them below or visit my blog at JSTERN Designs. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you for JSD TV on Tuesday.